Yo, guys. Yo, yo, yo. Long time, and no speak. Sorry about that. I had um, a few uh, technical issues there. Pressed um, uh, start live stream, and then nothing happened for like two minutes. And then I uh, repasted the server and the stream key in, and then it said there's an error. Um, so then I tried it a third time, and luckily now it is on. Of course, when there's a delay, I have to wait before I see it on the um, actually working or not. It's like a um, one minute ish delay. So yeah, how's everybody doing? I know I've been away for a very long time, but today hopefully we're back with some uh, decent games. We've got Freestyler versus Peter, best of nine. It's very noisy here, one sec. <clears throat> yeah, I've moved house. I'm in um, my new designated gaming room now. I've got loads of cool lights and stuff going on. I've got a brand new mouse. I've got um, my 5.1 speakers um, set up around the mouth, around the room. I've been um, drilling into walls and uh, came across all kinds of problems. Um, fitted this cool lighting stuff. Fitted a new, um, uh, a really funky fan in my room to keep me nice and cool in the summer. Um, yeah, loads of cool stuff going on. I've got a few last bits to um, sort out, and then I will do. Um, a quick um, video to show you my new uh, my new room. It's pretty cool. I'm loving it. So yeah, none of the games have started yet. Uh, that was just a test game that we tried just a second ago. <clears throat> How's the um, sound and everything, by the way? I've still got the same computer and everything as last time, but obviously I'm now in a new room. I've obviously dismantled my computer and then rebuilt it in my uh, new place so hopefully everything is um, running smoothly but if like the music is too loud or the game sounds are too loud or anything like that let me know and I will uh, adjust because it's been like a month or a month and a half since I even touched zero hour uh, there's no chance I'd be able to be I for these players at the minute I haven't played at all so hopefully I'm going to be uh, back I think now we're in with game one I'm just going to reduce the sound on uh, that zero hour sound is a bit loud for me. So yeah, welcome back to some more zero hour then. A very long time since I've even watched a zero hour game. I haven't even tuned in for any live streams or anything like that. We're back with, um, this is a pro round robin um, tournament. I, I don't believe this is like a grand final. I think a round robin tournament is generally where you everyone plays everyone. To my knowledge, Peter and Freestyler have both beaten everyone. So I think the winner of this probably wins the pro round robin. It's called pro round robin, but I don't think any of the actual super pros are in it. I don't think any of the experts um, are in it, but I think Peter and Freestyler are some of the best players in the, um, in the tournament. I think it's best of nine. So it's, First to win, um, first to win five games. Obviously, we've got Peter. Um, I'm not even going to. Is it Spessers Beck, something like that? Um, versus um, freestyle, and we've got Infantry versus Stealth. So actually, a pretty good game to to start off with. Just one sec. <clears throat> yeah. So. Um, yeah, hopefully everything's running smoothly. We're going to kick off with this first game, then say in first to stealth, a very balanced matchup. Um, any predictions? I saw a few people saying 5-5 five, five somehow in the um, in the chat. That's 5-5 five, five is impossible. You can't get 5-5 five, five, to my knowledge. It has to be a 5-4 is the most it can go to because best of nine. Sorry, I've just made it so I can see the chat on the other, on the other screen. If you've seen my gaming setup on, on uh, Facebook, I've got three screens, so I have to make sure I've got everything open on the right screens. I have OBS for streaming on the left side, my game on the middle side, and then on the right side I have um, uh, what you guys can see and also the chat as well, so it's good for me to see what's going on. Uh, we've got HSN Leb saying 5 free for Peter. I think Freestyler is the stronger of the players here, but I might be wrong. I haven't been around for like a month and a half or something, so I could well be very wrong. Chun Ho Wong says, did I, get any, did I miss anything? No, he didn't miss anything yet. Uh, not really, anyway. The action is just kicking off and we're on game one, so it's still nil-nil. First to win uh, five. 
Welcome back. Yo, dude. Yo, Super uh, Genzu. Thanks very much for the donation. Much appreciated. My gaming chair goal has been smashed. You'll see my gaming chair. I've got a super expensive uh, uh, top of the range gaming chair. I'll uh, I'll do a video to show you my new room and stuff and show you my new equipment. But this uh, gaming chair is pretty good. Um, it's an aggressive tunnel here on the left from Freestyler. Uh, I think Peter knows he's up against um, a hard enemy here in Freestyler. Um, if you go back on my channel probably 12 months ago, maybe even 18 months ago, something like that, I predicted that Freestyler was going to become a top player. I said he was getting very, very good, and especially if he carries on playing, he was going to become a real tough opponent, and that's exactly what has happened. To my knowledge, um, at the moment, he's probably one of the one of the top players. I'm not saying he's the best, but he's definitely a really, really back, um, tough player to beat. Yo, AD General, thank you very much for the donation, man. And thanks for the welcome back. Massive donation. Is that $100? Thank you so, so much. Mr. Mr. Min missed the donations. But yeah, thanks, man. Much appreciated. So, um, Peter has done pretty well so far at holding off the um, aggression from Freestyler. Um, whenever I've spoke to Freestyler in the past, like, I think like 12 months ago when I was generally pretty well positive against freestyle i was always trying to help him improve and stuff and tell him how he can become um an even better player than he was because he was even tough 12 18 months ago but now he's um really really hard to beat i think the last time i played him last few times i've played him he's, he's beaten me i think so but i used to always say to him he needs to be a little bit more aggressive and that's exactly what he's done he's keeping up the aggression there although peter has done pretty well at pushing that back toxin tractor there cleared that out freestyle is Doing pretty well with a map control. He's got um, a pretty good presence on the, the middle and the left. And now on the right as well. And never tunnel there as well. Yeah, HSN Leb says uh, Peter is strong these days. Yeah, that's true. But Freestyler is also very strong. So um, and I, I think Freestyler has the slight edge going into this. But as I said, I don't know if Peter's been... I think Peter's been playing quite a lot recently. So it's interesting for me to see who's who's going to win and what, who's... Um, who's kind of at the top of the uh, the food chain at the moment. I saw Scuba in um, Fargo have been playing quite a lot. Scuba, I think, has beaten Fargo the last two times. But yeah, there's definitely a few up-and-coming players. Boyker, obviously, very strong. Fargo, obviously, very strong. Scuba, I think, went through a period of when he wasn't actually that good, but actually now he's back to a very, a very, very strong player. So yeah, it's interesting to see who's who's kind of at the top now. Now that not many of the experts are playing, or I think it's just Scuba pretty much. Um, so a bit of trade off on both sides. We've got a command center being built there on the left. I think Freestyle is going to spot that pretty easy. I don't know if he's going to be able to kill that though. I'm not sure. There's nothing inside of that bunker. Freestyle with some aggression down the left hand side. Uh, down the right hand side, we've got um, Peter. Pushing in with the outpost ECM combo. As long as he can fill this bunker and kind of defend this on the left-hand side, um, kind of bunker himself in, then he's actually in a very, very good position because these two outposts and the ECM are going to be very, very hard to um, hard to break open. They can just kind of circle your base. Unless he manages to pop one open now, which he actually may well do, it may well be pretty hard for him. Ahmad Kadar said, um, who do I think is the best? If you're talking about who do I think is the best at the moment, I honestly don't know. I probably, I think Scuba is the best at the moment, maybe, because I saw that he beat Fargo twice. Um, and Fargo, Boyka, Freestyler, I think all are pretty closely matched. I'm not sure who is actually the best at the moment. I, th I think Scuba at the moment, but if you're talking of all time, then it's probably going to be, of course, size or... Excal, one of them lot. Rage, maybe. <clears throat> Actually, I did think, I, I thought I saw that um, Logica was still playing as well. So actually, if he, he is still playing, then maybe you could call him the best at the moment. Although, I don't know if I've seen him playing um, Scuba, Fargo, all them kind of players. But mind you, I haven't been around for like a month and a half, so what do I know? But Peter is doing very, very well here. He's controlling like three or four armies at the same time. Freestyle are very nice. Got a tunnel tucked in the back 
of the base, but Freestyler is losing a load of important stuff. That's a really good hit on that um, outpost there, but loads of the stuff is surviving. But another outpost, an ECM is coming in. Jarman is out in the nick of time. Uh, losing some HP, but he's going to go back. Jarman does need to be careful because that outpost... Yeah, I think Peter's won this, you know, even despite that tunnel there. I think um, Peter might have won this because he's just killed the palace, he's killed the barracks, killed that tunnel, killed the supply. That's a massive loss of Freestylers. Saying that, Freestyler is still on two supplies. Uh, I don't know if that was the best idea to attack just there. Uh, maybe the better idea would have been to keep that tunnel kind of quiet for the time being. And he might be trying to distract him. Maybe he's trying to throw everything. I don't know how much stuff he's got in the tunnel. But now, without causing any damage, that tunnel's probably going to go down. You see, that's not actually achieved anything. I kind of would have saved that for a little bit later. But I think he doesn't have very much left. And I think... Um, and I think he's just trying to distract Peter at the time. Just at the moment, just to try and... Just to kind of try and survive. But uh, I don't think it's kind of working... Peter is doing very, very well. Those are going down there for no reason, though. He does have a command center there. Tunnels both dead. Main base dying for Freestyler. I think this is going to be 1-0, so well played to Peter, and quite a convincing victory as well. <clears throat> Lotus needs to, does need to be careful there, but Peter pushing forward even more. That tunnel is bound to go down. Even if he pops out of this stuff now, it's all just going to go down. Tunnel dead. Uh, there are some terrorists out. He's trying to preserve... Or trying to save time, rather. Trying to delay Peter, but ultimately does go down. You well played to Peter. That was a very, very convincing uh, victory. And I think um, Freestyler might have a uh, run for his money here, then. If he... Uh, then it doesn't manage to put it back in the in the rematch. I do think um, infantry is very hard to play against, as um, any of the GLAs. You've got to kind of distract him early and cause damage early. But, um, yeah, freestyle, I don't think, got any damage off early. Pierre had a nice defense. He had a mine, mines and bunkers around. And uh, takes the victory. So I'm just going to do the scoreboard. I got 1-0. Uh, both players have made freestyler. I'm gonna join his Gonna jump into game number two. So we've got reverse of the um, the previous armies. They have selected the armies. I think there's a set number of matchups they have to play. I've got Peter in the south um, with the um, GLA uh, stealth in the purple, and in the north we've got Freestyler with the China infantry green. Uh, the map is Lagoon. I didn't see if we we're on version three or version two. I think it's uh, version two. The way I know is because this terrain here. There's a bit of an angle on it. It stops you building a supply there, which is a little bit imbalanced because you can build a supply here if you're in um, if you're in a mirror situation and only playing one game. Of course, they have uh, switched positions, so is um, it should be perfectly fair technically. Peter sending his workers all over the place. Would like to see a terrorist inside of that car, which there is one going over there now. Um, Haydar hey Steph says Peter barely loses any GLA. Sorry, GLA versus any inf. So let's see if that is the case. Peter establishing a tunnel there on the left-hand side. Looks like that's probably going to get up. Freestyler doing his um, supply uh, nice and far back. I think that's pretty much where Peter did it before. Is he now going to build a barracks and a bunker? Or he's going to build just a bunker? That... Um, actually, the terrorist and the car have gone down there. Kill the killed a, um, uh, a tank hunter. I don't know if that um, tank hunter is going to get inside of that fast. I think if Peter reacts quick, he probably can 
just steal it. It's going to have to be really, really quick, though, and I'm not sure he is um, 100% paying attention. That will make a big difference, though, but he is not going inside. The tank hunter is going to get inside. Uh, that's a shame because he could have used that bunker. Yeah. See, the little the little things in just a few seconds do mean all the difference in, um, in zero hour. Because now that kind of keeps Peter busy. Peter's now going to have to face this um, outpost on the right side, but all his RPGs are out here. They're not out here. Uh, saying that, though, the outpost might just go back. That bunker does go down, which actually might not be so bad. Terrorist is going to hit the bunker, and the dozer does go down. This is not a great start for freestyle of the technical is going to go down but it didn't kill the barracks the two terrorists that was really weird usually two terrorists do kill the china barracks a little bit strange peter needs to put his rpgs back inside of there because he might need to fight this now he's got one rpg outside here on the right side yo um ali Mohammed, welcome where is peter from Sh uh, shorok said he's from germany yeah um i don't know which part of germany though i don't think uh Nah, I don't know where he's from. I was going to guess. I, I, I don't know if he's far from Dusseldorf, but I'd just be guessing, so. Loads of RPGs and a minigun are out here now, so the RPGs are going to be chased um, away. Peter is establishing a nice little map control, but he's not caused that much damage. I mean, killing a couple, couple of units here, killed the dozer, stopped the bunker from being established, and killed the barracks, but is that really that much damage? It needs to be killing things like... Um, um, trucks of the war factory stopping the outpost count getting up uh, one outpost potentially going down here and that's quite a big loss for freestyle of both outposts actually going down so the one thing that i'd be trying to do as in sorry as gla is trying to keep the outpost count down because they're the things that can push into your base with ecms but if there's only like one or two outposts they're going to be a lot easier than if he gets up to like four five six like we saw peter doing there in the, in the game just then RPGs going down. He really wants to be saving them. He doesn't want to be losing them all for nothing. He's only causing a little bit of damage to the bunker. And that worker's probably going to face some death as well. On the right-hand side, though, all the um, infantry for Freestyler has been cleared up. And Peter is doing really, really well. Still not decided, um, though Propaganda Center is now up. So when the ECMs come out, Peter's going to have a hard time dealing with that. He's also not on a third supply, but saying that he is getting an oil, though. Barracks taking quite a lot of damage. You see how much damage that caused? That's why it's weird that one terrorist caused that much damage, but those two terrorists before didn't. Maybe the terrorist detonated his, his partner or something. I don't know what happened. Paul Mueller or Muller said, uh, why are stealth fighters and microwave tanks so underrated? I think... Um, Stealth fighters, I'm not 100% sure they're that useful. When you're Air Force, you can generally make a King Raptor. To my knowledge, they are cheaper King Raptors and they can cause more damage to most stuff apart from defenses. But microwave tanks, I 100% agree with you. They are underused. They can kill infantry really well. Um, and they can also disable, uh, sorry, clear out buildings and disable defenses. I think microwave tanks are one of the things that should be used more. Stealth fighters, I'm not 100% convinced on. But I totally agree with you regarding the... Um, uh, microwave tanks. Big push from uh, Freestyle here. Weirdly, Peter killed this down to 1 HP and then he's trying to capture it with his Rebel. I think he might cause some self-damage here and I think that might actually go down. It's very, very close. It's on the, only 0 or 1 or 2 HP. Peter's probably going to try and go for that, but... Um, Freestyle really wants to repair that, but I'm not sure if he's got a command center. He doesn't have a command center. Yo, uh, Danny Koek, how you doing? But um, Peter's having a, uh, doing a good job of keeping Freestyler contained in his base, but he's about to probably lose this left-hand side. He has got a palace now, but no third supply. Actually, sorry, a third supply is established, and the oil, actually. Uh... So I don't know if he's going to be wanting to go for a bus now with the Jarman. I think that's probably the best route to try and um, pop open these uh, outposts and then let the quads deal with any um, infantry that remain. 
Palace is stealth. It's probably not going to make that much difference to infantry, though, since pretty much everything can detect stealth that inf makes. Freestyle are establishing a bit of a defense there on the left hand side. Mini going to clear out that terrorist that was going to try and sneak through. I would like to see a sneaky worker from Peter kind of sent straight through the middle, kind of to this point. Usually they get through. Yo, Mashish, yeah, I'm back, man. <laughs> Welcome back to you. Oh, one terrorist has got through. A little bit, a little bit of a shame that it's a little bit too late to stop the dozer building the command center. That supply there on the right hand side has had to be sold off. Um, another supply is established in the middle though. That might be next to be going down actually. Probably going to flame all that. There is a terrorist right here though. He force fires the ground. He does pick off an outpost. Every outpost that he can pick off here is a massive um, hit on Freestyler's army. It would be nice if he gets that one as well. But he's losing quite a few quads in the process. That one is being chased away. There's more outposts here now. Flamer also in the middle killing loads of workers. Does sell off the supply. Losing loads and loads of tunnels, Peter is. Yeah, Steph said that stealth fighters can take out buggies. Yeah, true, but so can um, King Raptors, and uh, if there are loads of quads nearby, yeah, they will kill the King Raptor, but they will they will also kill the um, Stealth Fighters, because um, they have to reveal themselves to shoot, and if there's a few quads there, which there generally probably is going to be, then they're probably going to go down, so yeah, Stealth Fighters, I'm not 100% convinced. Maybe they could be used more. There is a terrorist there, force fired the ground. These are really, really handy because they require loads of micro from uh, Freestyler and needs to be really, really careful. Whereas from uh, Peter, you can kind of just put the terrorist on guard mode and the terrorist will kind of do the rest. And there is a carpet bomb here and quads need to be careful. Two or three quads went down there. I think it was two. Yeah, I think it was two. Loads of cards still being produced by Peter, but against the outpost ECM army, and there is two groups of them now, two chunky groups. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to going to be able to gr uh, uh, grind through. I think this game is tipping in favour of Freestyler, which is on two thousand eight hundred dollars. Peter on about sixteen hundred. <clears throat> Yo, Mohammed um, Al Bavari, welcome. Yeah, man, it has been a long time. I moved house and um, a load of other stuff, which I will show you in a video at some point. Big loss for uh, Freestyler there, losing um, a load of uh, outposts, losing his whole army there on the left-hand side, actually. And that was his chunky army. Um, on the right side, he's only got one really damaged outpost and one pretty much full one behind. But he does have control of the artillery platform. Has also established himself a third supply. Meg's now up in the air. We've got Napalm. Still plenty of quads out for um, uh, Peter taking out the artillery platform. Carpet, no, not carpet. Uh, mine's coming in. Going to drop it on the right hand side. Uh, probably both trucks are going to go down here. Peter needs to kill that one as well. I think he's going to be able to. But Freestyler, not on much cash, I don't think. $2,800. He is in the middle now as well. 
But carpet coming in and two quads once again are going to go down. Jarma needs to be careful as well. I'm not sure if one quad escaped there. I think... Uh, oh no, two still went down and Jarma went straight into the mines. That Actually, he just beaconed as well. So Peter may be faltering a little bit here. Um, supply going to go down now. This is only going to vet him up as well. So he's probably going to be on like EMP. Um, very, very soon. Although I'm not sure it's going to make that much of a difference. I'm not sure how many units Peter's got inside of his tunnel. He's got two markets there on the left. This is the point where he needs like some sneaky work as well. There's a load of um, RPGs inside of there and the quad's going to go down. I think this is going to tip into Freestyler's um, advantage. I never supply there. So he's on, is he on four suppliers now? That one's mined out. So he's on three supplies. He's got f uh, four MiGs. Pretty well established base, pretty well established army. Peter's only got a couple of quads. It's looking like it's going to be freestyler's game. It does have a fourth, th fourth market going up. He's got another stealth one there in the back. Mig's coming in, taking out the quads. He's only got seemingly one quad left now. <clears throat> uh, that quad is going to go down so, so easy. There's no point, no point wasting it. Send it back. He's bringing another quad of him as well, but there's a load of outposts. He's going to be chased away. That quad needs to get out of there as well. This is the point, though, where you're at kind of this situation where you need to be sending, like, sneaky workers through. But mind you, the MiGs are up now, but you never know. Maybe you could waypoint one here and then waypoint it to the back of the base. There's a minigun in there, so maybe Freestyler is prepared. But that's the kind of thing that um, Peter is going to be needing some kind of sneaky tunnel and a massive damage caused. Huge engagement here, but I think uh, Freestyle is slowly coming out on top, especially if he, um, if, especially if Peter tries to engage these with just the quads. He did try to pop, did pop open one of the outposts there. <clears throat> these terrorists buying Peter a little bit of time. But I uh, think Peter might be delaying the inevitable. He still has five markets, and he's still collecting on this left-hand side supply. He's got worker shoes as well, but he's losing so, so much. This is so hard to deal with. Migs are in the air now as well. There's so many bunkers. Lotus is out as well. This is really um, long and painful death for Peter. <clears throat> but yeah, Inf is just charging through the, um, through the base. <clears throat> yeah, I'm struggling to see a way Peter can win this. I was thinking maybe if he has a command center, he can use the anthrax bomb. Maybe he could do a sneak attack, but I don't think he even has a um, command center. So Peter has gone down to GG's, taps out, and that goes to 1-1. One, one. You have been... That was about to say you have been defeated. I did tab out, so uh, to update the scoreboard, but just as you have been. So one one so far, very very even. I think uh, Peter had a more convincing victory the first time, so maybe this was going in Peter's favour. Freestyle did take longer to kill Peter just then. Uh, just going to wait for the game to be rehosted. <clears throat> I don't know what matchup is next. I think they need to agree it, so let's see. <sighs> A 
Jedi K set or Jedi 23 set is um, trying to aim for the strongest one. No, it's not the strongest. I think Air is considered the strongest. Peter says that Freestyler apparently needs a break to try and calm down. Okay. Just give him a few minutes and see what's going on. <clears throat> Dada says, when, when am I back playing 1v1? Um, probably this weekend. Yeah, I haven't been playing for a while, but um, hopefully this weekend I won't be playing. Steph said, who is better late game, Inf or Stealth? Let's say Infinite Money versus Infinite Money, who wins? Um, good question. Uh, I think you're probably going to have to say um, Infantry. Because once he gets loads of bunkers up, and new cannons, infernos, outpost ECMs, um, GLA. If it's stealth, you can't really do much against it. So you've got you can't you can't build um, scud launchers. You can build scuds, the super weapon, and if it if you've got loads of room, like if you're on a large map like um, a Twilight Flame or something, it's turned into a super weapon war. Then of course, yes, stealth would win. But if you're talking about a small map where there's not going to be that many super weapons. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe you can make loads of super weapons on Sun the Desert. I've seen it before. So may, maybe with the, if it's just a ground war with no super weapons, then I'd say Inf. But once the super weapons get in the mix, then it's um, stealth. <clears throat> so we're still waiting for them now. I think they need to sort out the map. He's saying gorge is in gorge drought. So we'll let them sort out the um, sort out the map and the uh, armies and stuff.
My man says, what's my favourite army? Um, probably uh, air and stealth. That's your strongest armies. What well, you can do the most. <clears throat> okay, China, Jale on Gorge Drought. Let's kick off then. So it's 1-1. One, one. It is best of nine. So it's first to win uh, five games. <clears throat> so jumping into the third game. Um Freestyler versus Peter. Uh, this is game number three. And we've got Freestyler in the south with the green um China vanilla. In the north we've got Peter with the purple GLA um vanilla. Um Noiser on Noza said am I, am I ever gonna be streaming Rise of the Reds? 2v2 probably not I typically like to stay on um, the normal zero hour it's there. that's what I play <clears throat> so yeah we've got Peter with the stronger army by far what was he he's a GLA vanilla it's probably going to be causing some damage nice and early um, Freestyler has got uh, a hard matchup to win here But this is not a uh, weak army for China, I don't think. This typically, I, I think, is actually quite a decent army for um, for China because you've got these supplies here that you can actually expand to pretty quick if you get a barracks and a bunker down and secure this kind of right-hand side. It's actually not that bad of a map for, for China, but... The trouble is aggressive tunnels from the GLA, and if he's um, really aggressive early on, kills some... Um, Kill some of your economy early on and can hurt you. And uh, later on, if you do allow GLA to get both the oil and the refinery and get a third supply here also, then um, once he gets to like buses and um, uh, buggies, quads, stuff like that, quads of AP ammo, it's very, very hard for China. But that said, it's, n it's not impossible. So let's see um, what Freestyler can do. There are mines here. He built them very early. I think he built the mines before, um, before the truck. Mines do kill the terror car though, which he actually got from here with one of the terrorists. There is another terror car in the mix. We've got a technical as well, loaded up fully with RPGs. There is a uh, flamer here though, but I think the flamer will probably go down eventually. One flamer also going down there. Tech RPG is going to help this and actually take out that flamer really really nice from uh, Peter rather than going for the defense but actually needs to be careful with this technical I'm not sure if it even did it actually did it get any scrap I'm not sure if it got any scrap or not uh, it doesn't no nah, it doesn't look like it's um, usually you can see it's got a bigger cannon when it has the um, double scrap upgrade but uh, I couldn't see it just then Peter's going to go back and just defend his refinery, which is getting flamed. And he's going to be successful. Really, really nice defense from Peter so far. Also getting a third supply behind this. Uh, because he's gone back to defend, though, he is going to lose this um, forward tunnel position. Two quads pop out, but I'm not sure that's the greatest of pops. But he is going to take out the flamer, though, and that's what counts. Now he can um, pop out. Yeah, now this is going very, very badly. That That one moment there... Um, probably, or maybe, I don't know if it decided the game or not, that technical is going to go down. I thought with that technical, this whole attack had gonna be, was going to be turned around. But actually, Freestyle has still managed to break through. He has sent a load of units there. But he has lost a lot of stuff as well. He's now, now only got three, three, yeah, three flamers on the, on, the, on the ground. He's flamed one of his own Gatling cannons there. Uh, he's got another Gatling, or oh, sorry, Gatling tank, not Gatling cannon. Peter now need, desperately needs a tunnel here because if a flamer gets there and kills that third supply, that's a big, big uh, loss that you don't really want to want to take. Marksman said, what is the weakest army in your opinion? Um, I think the weakest army in the game is probably China Vanilla, which he's looking at right now, but on par with um, USA Super Weapon. When you get USA Super Weapon versus like Tox, for example, it's super, super hard. Or Super Weapon versus... Um, um, Air Force for general, uh, for example, is uh, super hard as well. So yeah, China and super weapon, I think. <clears throat> Couple more quads going down there, and I don't think Peter actually has that many quads out right now. 
He's not upgraded to a second um, arms dealer, although we can afford it. He's got four workers there on the left-hand side. Yeah, the map control from Peter is not looking so good. He's kind of just bunkering on this right-hand side, but I would have liked to tunnel there when he was losing this spot. <clears throat> yeah, Freestyler is really showing his uh, strength now, pushing Peter right, right back. Bunker established there on the right side. Um, Freestyler also going for his refinery and oil. Peter going for his as well. But Freestyle is kind of controlling this game now from this point on because the map control has been denied for Peter. I would love to see us. Oh, he's got a second arms dealer now. I'm not sure if that's a fake or not. But yeah, he needs so, so many quads. And he needs to win a couple of engagements now to turn this back in favor. I think the game is tipping in the favor of Freestyler. But he still has the uh, weaker army. <coughs> Flamer there going down. Third supply workers all going down. Maybe even a third supply as well. There are a few quads here coming in from the right hand side trying to take it out. One flamer going to go down. The other flamer taking a lot of damage. The quads... Um, not being attacked here by the Gatlin tanks that are sitting idle. What I'd like from Peter actually is if he mixed in a few Scorpions because these Gats and the Flamers do really, really badly against Scorpions. So Scorpions with the um, rocket upgrade would be pretty nice. Yeah, Steph said that Peter's maybe getting nervous. Don't know if he's necessarily nervous. He actually started... He started this this um, particular map very, very well. But now that Freestyler is pushing uh, Peter back, no doubt he's got a little bit of panic panic in his mind, probably. Tried to establish a third, um, sorry, an extra tunnel there on the right-hand side, but did go down to the bunker. Uh, is it time for a helix, someone said. I don't know if a helix... Maybe it is time for a helix, actually. Yeah, it could be. Or mix. If he's got the correct control, which I think Freestyler does. Big trade-off there, and actually Peter is coming out on top. Freestyle are throwing a load of his army there away, and actually is vetting up some of these quads. It's going to make the next attack pretty hard. He has transitioned into MIGs, but actually I think, like someone said in the chat, maybe um, Helixes was a better thing to transition into because MIGs can go down if you do um, one bad maneuver and one decent pop from Peter, and the game suddenly or already is looking more in favor of Peter. Now he's killed all of that army because there's... There's only a few MIGs out now from, from Freestyle. He doesn't actually have that many units now on the on the uh, battlefield. Two more Flamers there on the left-hand side going to push that tunnel back and Peter's going to lose even more map control. Peter's now establishing a third supply again on the right. <clears throat> now got an oil and refinery though, but that's why uh, two war factories in this um, on this map is very very good because those quads now only cost like what six hundred and six hundred and thirty dollars a piece because he's got the um, refinery. There's an even bigger discount on the um, mix. You get ten percent off, so yeah, uh, hundred and twenty discount on the um, on the mix. I can hear artillery coming in. I can imagine there's going to be a carpet bomb as well because generally when you see the artillery, there's a carpet coming as well. There it is. I think there he was trying to bait out some quads with the uh, support powers. Yeah, Freestyler is doing really, really well here. The MiG's coming in as well. Killed the building there. Doesn't mean all too much though. Or anything at all. A uh, bit of a trade-off on both sides. Peter's still hanging in there, but he's taking uh, damage on this left-hand side. His other supply on the left has gone down. Peter is really, really struggling. And Freestyler once again showing his, uh, his strength.
Peter's holding on for the time being. Command centre has been established. He's only got three or four workers there. He has cleared up his left-hand side, but I'd like to see him establish that supply again. I don't think he's going to be able to hold on very well without that supply. He's also not got very many workers here, either because that supply had to be rebuilt. Megs are coming in. There's no AP ammo because I don't think he has a palace. He does have um, the bounty upgrade, though, so he's getting money from every unit that he kills. Peter can still win, but this still looks massively in favor of Freestyler. Um, Rebel is going to capture some of the middle buildings. Flamer, once again, going to kill that, and I'm not sure Peter's going to sell or cancel. He will get his full money back if he just clicks on that and presses C, but he hasn't. He's lost $1,500. Um, that building in the middle is being captured, but the gas and the ECM is going to go and try and defend it. It's an old dare going down. That's $800. Peter is getting um, obliterated here. Freestyler on 4k, Peter on Nice attack, combined with the carpet that's coming in as well. Uh, carpet's going to try and kill the refinery. He's probably going to pick off that worker as well. Causing a bit of damage to the oil. But it needs um, another support power if he's going to finish those off. I was going to say that worker, but actually died. It's going to repair the refinery, but yeah, it did die. General uh, Grozny says, when will I change that donation goal? That's still live from months ago. <laughs> I need to... Uh, I need to update it. I'll do it after this um, after this stream. Yeah, you guys are too generous. It's over-delivered by 337%. So, uh, nice one. <laughs> I do have my gaming chair now. Yeah, Freestyler is completely dominating uh, Peter here. Uh, Peter has not got an answer for it. It's established a tunnel on the left hand side. But even with that artillery platform alone, it's gonna cause a little bit of damage to anything that comes out. We've got MIGs coming in as well. It only takes one wrong pop and all of Peter's army is gonna be going down. He's got um, a load of RPGs out, which means he's probably gonna be going for buses. Um but there's still loads of money here for freestyle on the right, still loads of money there on the left. His main is is mined out. <coughs> Uh, throwaway account says, why do I say 1v1, v1, 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 v1 instead of 8-player free-for-all? Uh, I never play an 8-player free-for-all, so I never say it 8 times. I always say it 6 times. Um, but yeah, maybe I can say 6-player free-for-all. <laughs> the reason is because the games, when they get created, they're called 1v1, v1, 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 v1. Uh, when they get hosted in the lobby, that's why. So that just sticks in my brain. Yeah, Peter has caused a nice load of damage there, but the MiG's now coming in and pretty much finishing off everything. Peter's only got one quad not disabled. He has got... He has got three or four units, actually. But Freestyle is just getting more and more airfields. There's going to be so many MiG's. It doesn't matter how many quads he makes with a, a correct MiG micro. Maybe he um, will still be able to overwhelm all of these... Uh, all these quads. That said, though, it only requires one mistake from the mix, and they can all go down to uh, one tunnel. What I would probably do is stealth one or two of these tunnels. So, for example, stealth that one and stealth that one. So when the mix come in, you will not be expecting a pop from one of them. That's probably what I'd be trying to do, because that's the only way he's going to win now by taking out all of their mix is by using one of them stealthy, sneaky tunnels or by using a sneak attack. Lewis has gone in the back of the base. He cannot capture the palace, but he can capture either the supply or the barracks, or maybe if he wants to go for the arms dealer. You see the MiGs coming in now, because that wasn't stealthed. 
mind you the lotus might, might have detected it anyway but if one of them wasn't stealth like you had a, a stealth tunnel there for example you take out these migs suddenly you're probably back in the game there's a big ground army though and there's more support powers coming back in now um oh, i'm not sure what that artillery is though oh artillery was there carpet is taken out and peter actually still has a chunky amount of quads <laughs> no worries um throw away account yeah sorry exile i lose count after four so um five or six or seven somewhere in that region <laughs> not not everyone's counting so as long as i said it roughly amount the same amount of times the right amount of times then uh that's covered <laughs> <clears throat> Danny said that Free should send a dozer and get a supply and bunkers on Peter's third supply. Yes, what do you mean here? Potentially, yeah. Although that will require some investment, and as soon as the um, as soon as Freestyler loses an engagement, that could then go down. So you potentially allow Freestyler back into it. But yeah, good idea. Potentially, that's something he can do, especially once he clears this tunnel and this one. Especially if he clears all of that, then definitely get this. Maybe not even bunkers, maybe just build a few um, Gatling cannons because they are super, super powerful against quads. Oh, picking off any? Yeah, picked off one. Only one, though. This palace is going to survive. That Gatling cannon does need to be taken out because it is proving pretty annoying. I think Freestyle is finally going to crack open this right inside there and kill the refinery and the oil. That guy is taken out, but what a massive distraction because it has allowed um, Freestyle now to get in here. Uh, is that mines? Oh, mines there outside of the tunnel. The Peter is getting pushed so far back. That could be an EMP. What a deadly EMP. Is it going to get that one as well? Nah. Uh, if the MiGs come in now, that's real, real bad news for Peter. Peter. Peter's dead anyway, I think, but, um, yeah, the MiGs are just going to seal the deal. Why are the MiGs not going across the map? It needs to be quick because, um, otherwise these, uh, things can make him back alive. But either way, he's, uh, he's still clearly won this. Choosing to go for all the quads. He's got no, uh, air defense anymore. GG, I think he means well played. And uh, yeah, well done to Freestyle. A complete um, domination there, really. No real damage caused in the beginning you from Peter, and I think that was his downfall. Needed to be kind of more aggressive, aggressive killing trucks and stuff, but you can probably put it down to Freestyle who's having uh, super good defense. So um, yeah, going to update the score. 2-1. for him to make again. Hi, man. <laughs> Q1. 
Question is, is your mum watching this live stream? <clears throat> okay, they just need one minute and then we'll get started. Do I watch any anime series? Nah, I don't. I'm not really into anime. My sister is though. My little sister. She's six years younger than me. She's into that kind of stuff, but nah, not me. Exile said that Free cleared the tunnel super quick. Yeah, he did. He cleared him pretty early on. I thought Peter was going to hold on, actually. I think that um, engagement very early on was kind of a key moment. If Peter had held on and caused more damage and behind that got like a third supply and more tunnels and stuff then that was probably the key to victory but yeah he lost them tunnels so so quick that yeah it didn't actually go so well for him Fast there said, do I support a football team? Nah. I don't really um, follow football. Yeah, I don't follow football, so um, I only really watch the Euro and the World Cup. I obviously support England. I think last World Cup, we actually did pretty well. I think we got to the semi-final. But yeah, other than the World Cup and the Euro, I don't really follow it. Boxing is my sport. If you ask me stuff about boxing, then uh, that's what I kind of follow every, every week or every day. I'm probably watching boxing interviews and stuff like that. Yo, dude, welcome to the guy that just, just subscribed. I think it was Leroy, or did I imagine that? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm looking at my phone because I've got these new lights um, on my wall behind where I sit. So um, they're called Nano Leaf lights, and you connect to it with your phone, and you can control the colors and stuff, and they go to music. It's going to be for when I start using the webcam more. The lights will be in the background. It's like a cool thing to... Uh, to look at but having loads of connection issues with it it's like not connecting to my phone properly and stuff so yeah quite the very well not quite expensive they're very expensive but the fact that every time i turn it off and back on my phone can never connect to it so i feel like what's the point in paying all that money if you can't connect to it but yeah maybe i'm doing something wrong i don't know <clears throat> Uh, so we've got the rematch, uh, GLA versus China, Freestyler versus Pizza. We've got Peter in the South with a China Vanilla this time, whereas it's Freestyler before, the exact reverse. And now we've got Freestyler in the North uh, with the green GLA Vanilla. Sending his workers all over the place. We are on Gorge Drought, which is actually one of my um, favorite maps, as I've said in a few videos before. Um, yes, yeah, uh, it usually accounts for big battles because you've got this kind of refinery and this oil kind of nice and tucked away and you can usually defend it. It allows you to get up to two war factories for both, well, for all, not not all the armies, but um, generally you're going you're gonna to see two war factories or even three war factories from China and two or three from GLA. So it usually accounts for some big battles, um, especially if you've got two kind of aggressive GLA players, you can usually see three war factories and um, a nice big battle with the tanks and stuff. So. That's one of the reasons why I like it, but also this um, 
nice and big allows you to fully uh, build up and it's, a, it's just a nice map all around I like it uh, we've got these terror cars on the left hand side which can be annoying so the terrorists are both going to go over there for freestyler it's going to get inside of both of these cars is that one and that one I think to my knowledge you can get inside of I think it's that or that and I think there is something here as well I'm not sure if no you can't get in that one but yeah there are some more cars you can get into <clears throat> and uh, yeah cause some damage Peter not going for any mines just yet on his um, supplies that supply is not quite perfect one dozer potentially going down there I don't know oh that one did go down to the mines there to both terracars actually been uns unsuccessful I think that terracar there bugged out when it hits the back of the dozer um, or the back of any unit for that matter it does um, does bug out sometimes if those are familiar with the game um, yeah it does bug out uh, quite a lot when you hit the back of the unit freestyle are taking out one gap there one thing you can do um, is if you're trying to pick off China's units like that like you see the technical there took quite a bit of damage before it was managed to kill the um, kill the gap sometimes you can send two technicals so you can have one fully loaded with five and what one technical to support it just with another two RPGs inside of it and go around hunting units then and uh, it's a lot easier just to pick off China's units like that. There's no chance one of the technicals will go down, even if you find an outpost or even a flamer as well. As long as you've got <clears throat> if you've got the seven RPGs and two technicals, it's a lot better at clearing up the China um, units that are coming at you. But Freestyle is having pretty good success so far. It is on half HP though, so it does need to be careful. Peter sending his uh, dozer to the right hand side, maybe a little bit prematurely. He needs to be careful he doesn't lose it. Yo Fargo, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Freestyle is generally pretty good at this, getting um, an, a few RPGs inside of there and then killing the enemy. Or also, if the game does go late, Freestyle will be at an um, economic advantage. Freestyle mistake there needs to go around that fence. Uh, hasn't killed the oil though and uh, has now lost his technical. Peter on the left hand side has established a uh, bunker. Peter's also got a nice map control. A uh, nice map vision rather because he's got the outpost there. But Freestyler um, has got a tunnel there which is where I'd like Peter to have built it in the previous game. Freestyler also got a nice defense going on the right hand side but he's done that before going for a third supply. But I think he's got, yeah, he's got the capture upgrade already with the two rebels to get the oil in the refinery. Notice how the scorpions mixed in for uh, Freestyler. Yeah, Freestyler's doing pretty well. Uh, Peter's now on a fourth supply, though. Um, a tunnel really, really close there. That outpost is not going to achieve much. It's going to probably go down. I, w I personally would have just left it up there. It's not like that tunnel was stealthed, either. He could see it. Needs to be careful with that dose, though. Yeah, those are from Peter. It's going to go down. And now that bunker will take some of the damage as well. Yo, Russian dude, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Exile said that a little distraction was enough to expand. And yeah, probably right. The um, the oil attack there was... Um, was a distraction which has allowed three tunnels on this right side. Two tunnels in the middle. There's no tunnel there though, sneaky flamers and stuff like that. This um, scorpion is going to go down to the bunker fairly easy. Uh, that dozer though I think is the last one and if there's RPGs inside of there potentially, I don't think it's going to die actually, I think it's going to get away. Yeah, a little bit um, newbie shall we say from freestyle of there. But that dozer is awfully low though, as expected Peter said. <laughs> You can't really blame Freestyler. He's doing pretty well without going for the Dozer hand. He just happened to stumble across a uh, Dozer. Yo, Venom. Welcome. Uh, Peter's taking a beating on this right side, though. That bunker has gone down. There are mines now on the barracks just, just to save the uh, Dozer in case anything does push through. But uh, Freestyler's having a lot more, more success than Peter did. Yo, uh, Jedic23. Welcome. 
Yeah, Freestyle is doing a lot, lot better than Peter did in the previous game. Peter's now on his oil and refinery, but so is Freestyler. Freestyler's also on four supplies. I'm not sure if a palace is on the way or not, but I don't think he necessarily needs it. He's doing pretty well without it. I, I personally would just keep up the... Um, the tier one aggression, like the quads, the scorps, um, establishing more tunnels and stuff like that. I would like to see um, some more tunnels more forward rather than just these two and this these three over here. Like to see um, creeping forward of the workers, which is something that if you watch player like size, they were always creeping forward to tunnels, not doing loads of tunnels in the same spot, but instead creeping forward all the time and gaining more and more ground. <clears throat> Uh, more units being picked off here from Freestyle. He, he, sorry, from uh, Peter. He is sending more units to defend it, but another um, outpost potentially going down there. One quad going down as well. Another quad going down. And actually, Peter's doing pretty well at pushing this back for the time being. But because Scorps are in the mix, these um, outposts are uh, taking a lot more damage than in the previous game. So the game is stabilizing a little bit, uh, but I still think Freestyler is massively um, at an advantage. I will work. I will work. Scorpion, ready to sting. Loads of units going down there for uh, Peter. Lost his um, pretty much whole army there. I'll puncture the next thing that moves. I'll puncture the next thing that moves. Real, real nice hit from Peter. Killed the refinery and the oil. Um, Gilly's going to have a harder time at killing that um, for uh, Peter, but there is a massive army coming down the right... Sorry, from the right side and from Freestyle, through the middle. Uh... Peter choosing to go back. I personally would have left them Inferno Cannons clearing this up whilst I send the rest of the units to clear this up back in his base but instead he's sending the inferno cannons as well to be honest he might need it because he's just sending all these outposts in without microing them already uh peter is going to clear this up actually freestyle have lost his pretty much whole army there palace is established command center being established uh black market um, being built as well These Inferno Cannons are doing really, really well, but uh, this artillery platform here is causing big damage. Just one Inferno going to go down so far. Uh, nice if he captures that with a Lotus, though. He's going there with the Lotus now. But P is making a bit of a comeback. I mean, he's still got his um, refinery and oil, so he is at an economic advantage. Uh, Freestyle does have worker shoes now. Artillery platform has been captured. 
Freestyle was trying to force fire it there before it went down. But Peter out of nowhere is making a huge, huge comeback. There isn't even an, um, an Overlord in the mix now as well. And a Freestyler is being pushed back. He doesn't really have an answer. I think there is a Battle Bus around though. He's going to need a Jarman now to snipe off the Overlord. Um, I heard a Rebel Ambush there. He's going to try and kill the um, try and kill the Lotus. But even just one of these half-dead Gats can just go over there and defend that. Uh, Battle Burst, Scrim Scorps, and um, Quad's going to try and take out these Inferno Cannons from the back. One Inferno does go down. A second does go down. The Battle Burst potentially going to go down there as well because it has gone too close to the Overlord and the ECMs. But Peter's actually making a very, very nice comeback. As I said, he's still at the economic advantage. So once Freestyle is mined out there or there... Um, yeah, Peter's still going to have the oil in the refinery, which is very, very nice. And this army is actually doing very, very well against the GLA army as well. Peter pushing this army right back, and that tunnel's at risk of going down as well. Not sure if the artillery and the, the um, carpet is on the way back either. Peter's doing very, very well, though. That artillery platform is very, very annoying for him, though. Lois is going to go up there and try and capture it. It's going to be successful this time. The Rebels are going to go down. They're trying to capture the other one. But once that's captured, actually... Oh, is the Lotus going to go down, though? Is that enough to kill it? One hit. Oh, it's not going to fire in time. Massive, massive attack here. But I'm afraid that um, quads are not quite going to cut it against this army. Can I display the gentle timer? Yeah, I can. Sorry, there you go. <clears throat> Balbus in the mix now, and that uh, Overlord is potentially going to go down, but these quads are all funneled into the same position, and uh, Peter has got an amazing concave on them. This is not good from Freestyle. He's still in. He's not in a very weak position, but uh, <laughs> Peter is full of life today with the uh, with the chat. <laughs> maybe trying to make Freestyler frustrated, which maybe he is after that. There's loads of black markets going up. Peter's saying he might as well resign. Peter does get a bit an animated sometimes, so it can be expected. I get a feeling these games mean a lot to him. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's any prize for this tournament or not. Maybe maybe there is. I don't know. But yeah, Peter's still got the oil in the refinery, which doesn't look like a lot, but it means 10% cheaper units and you're getting 1,000 every minute. It does make a difference. He has got an internet center behind this as well. Uh, Gatling Cannon Bunker being established right at the back, but... I think even without that, his aggression uh, through the right-hand side is looking pretty, really good. You've got to remember, Freestyler is now... Well, he's actually got no workers to let in there. He's only got 2,400 left. 8,800 there, but he doesn't have this third supply. And also, he's lost these two tech buildings. Uh, that said, though, he does have probably five markets that are going to be ready anytime now. Palace is still up. Uh, Jarman can cause some damage, which is there. Um, mine's been dropped right off in front of him, though, so he does have to be careful. Maraca says, yes, psychological warfare. Yeah, I agree. But again, loads and loads of quads mixed in here for Freestyler. But actually against this army, they're actually not doing that well. Has he got AP ammo? No, he doesn't even have AP ammo. The battle bus is going to go down even to the uh, to the gats. But loads of uh, Freestyler's army going down again. I think only one quad is going to escape. Jarman sniped off one gat and one um, RPG. But is that enough to win in the game? Jarman going down as well. It's a massive loss. $1,500 unit. He's rebuilt his workers there on his main supply. Tunnel going down. This doesn't look like he's got any units inside of it. <laughs> it's Peter is fully animated today.
I think Peter's won. Uh, these five black markets are ready, but I don't think Freestyle has very much to defend it. There is a sneaky worker in the back, but that is going down to the bankers that Peter has made. I think one good Anthrax bomb, which may well be on the way, may tilt it back in um, Freestyle's favour, because that's pretty much the only army, and one Anthrax bomb, I'm pretty sure, uh, would wipe out that whole thing. Uh, Rebel Ambush, not quite going to do anything. Peter wants to be careful to, in the sense that he doesn't want to lose um, really any units. He wants to try and preserve every single unit because the Anthrax Bomb will turn this around. There's loads of ECMs out. One quad going down. There's a few more quads here. No AP ammo though, I don't think. Nah. There's loads of RPGs here, which I think are from all the popped open outposts. It's not a great attack there. GG from Freestyle. Well played to Peter. I didn't think he was going to pull that off. I thought he was going in... Um, uh, freestyle his favor pretty early on but um again maybe it's just the lack of early damage uh, early damage from both of them just non-existent uh, updating the scoreboard two two Oops. Okay, going to jump into the fifth game. Um, we've got GLA versus uh, Laser. I'm going to pick Laser to um, uh, win this one. I think it's um, not that easy to cause that much damage with GLA versus Laser on this one. And also this uh, main supply here actually runs out very, very quick. So it leaves GLA and not very much money. Whereas the USA can send his Chinook. Because as long as he's got a decent hold in the middle, he can actually collect long distance from the, from the middle. So I think this favors um, USA Laser, but let's see what Peter is able to do. What Peter wants to be doing really is harassing this supply as much as possible. And then when Freestyler sends or oversends his defense over there, he wants to then try and get in the back here and cause some damage here. The um, the whole idea for GLA here is just harassment. That's what he wants to be doing. But let's see uh, what he's able to do. <clears throat> not paying attention with his worker there. That's not a great start for him. Really, you wanted to go inside of that bunker then and then bring a tech RPG, go inside of that bunker with the RPGs and finish that tunnel. Uh, that could come back to bite him. That's really what he wants to be doing. Maybe he's going to send his tech RPG down here around the back and establish another tunnel here whilst he harasses. But a fire base is going up there for Freestyler. Um, Freestyler has also locked his dozer in between his war factory and his barracks.
Not the greatest of micro there from uh, from Peter. Oh man, he's lost four terrorists and only detonated one on the power. That's not a good start from him at all. Uh, just based on the opening, losing that worker, losing all them terrorists on the technical, it's already looking in favor of freestyler for me. That said though, let's see if this technical is able to cause any damage. Not sure if this is a tech RPG or not, but there are plenty of Vs out now. With some missile defenders there as well. That technical though, I'm not sure if that's just a distraction or not. Let's see. Uh, Peter does have another tunnel up here on the right. It looks like he's got a good map control, but we need damage though. That's what he needs. That V is going to escape as well. That's annoying for Peter because all of his attacks so far have just not caused any damage. Massively, massive annoying, annoying and frustrating for Peter. He's going to come in with another attack, but eventually it's going to be the, the right amount of Vs with the right amount of missile defenders inside. It's keeping Freestyler busy though, but as soon as this is a massive amount of Vs, it's just not going to be enough out for Peter to uh, deal with it. Doing a little bit of harassment here, but he's going to lose all of his stuff again. He might pick off one V, and that's um, quite a good thing for Peter. He wants to keep his V count down. It would be nice if he could pick off that one as well, since he has already caused so much damage to it. He's got um, quads here, so um, Freestyler now taking damage on one of his Chinooks. All things considered, Peter's actually still doing pretty well. But it's going to be how he deals with this blob of Vs. If they just charge through the center now, is he going to go for a base trade? Is he going to try and beat them head on? Um, yeah, there's not enough technicals out. It needs more technicals to deal with these, uh, with these Vs, which have now got the uh, missile upgrade. Yeah, they see the quads have gone down there. Throwaway account says, How often do you find yourself in intentionally setting up a pincer manu maneuver where you feign an attack to draw your enemy in and flank them with a stronger force? When you're GLA versus USA, all the time you want to be doing it <coughs> um, a hell of a lot. You generally want to be sending a fake technical over here, freestyle will overreact, and then you want to send your real attack over here and detonate a war factory. As GLA versus USA, really, you should be doing that once, twice, or three times every single game. And if a load of them is successful, after the second or third time, you should have already um, won the game. As the, the, the more attacks and more terrorist uh, terror attacks that get through, and the more detonations that happen on buildings, the generally the quicker and uh, the easier you're going to win. It's the attacks that get stopped. Every time an attack gets stopped with GLA, that's um, only bad news. And this is why Peter is now struggling against this blob of Vs because he's not caused enough damage. Um, but actually, yeah, other other armies like um, China versus USA as well, you can send them um, like like a, a gat over here to kind of distract him and then send your main army um, into the main base. Yeah, mainly against USA because USA is the, the one that's strong head on with the Vs. That's the things you don't want to be uh, taking on um, and head on engagement. Uh, that tower's going to go down. Is that going to kill the tunnel? It is. It's going to kill the tunnel. So these technicals have got nowhere else to go now. And actually, it killed it right down to the. Um, uh, right down fr even from the hole. So the hole is non existent. All of that is cleared up now. Freestyle has even established a third supply in the middle. That Chinook hasn't been rebuilt there. Yeah, someone in the chat said uh, Freestyle is looking really strong, and that is right. He is looking really strong, but I think more in the beginning, it was more Peter's. Uh, Peter wasn't playing very good in the beginning of this game. Like that that first Terror Tech, for example, if that had a hit like that or that, this game could be very, very different. It's them first few attacks where are only a few units on the screen. They mean everything in this kind of matchup with GLA versus uh, USA. Throwaway account, no worries at all. You're welcome. Load of tentacles out here, actually, and he's killed a few of these. Freestyle is sp spreading himself a little bit thinner here now. And that's going to result in a few of these Vs getting picked off. Another one's going to get picked off there.
I think this fire base is probably going to save him. Uh, Peter losing loads of tentacles here. One vegan might get picked off, but the amount of tentacles that he's losing for it, I'm not 100% sure is worth it or not. Uh, Dozer building a command center there. I might even bait Peter to go for the Dozer. But, um... Yeah, Freestyler has another one back in his base, so that would be... Uh, a little bit pointless. Freestyler taking a bit of damage here, though. The quads are here now to kill the um, kill the Chinooks. Not sure where the next wave of Vs are. The next wave of Vs are coming now. That firebase is taking um, had a lot of damage. We've got two super techs now. But this next wave of Vs uh, is going to be really, really hard to deal with. I think this is the wave of Vs that might might decide the game, that might win the game for Freestyler. Yeah, Freestyle has caused, uh, lost a, a few buildings here and a few fire bases, few Vs, but this blob here, um, this Peter's, you see he's on um, no supply in his main already. So if he loses this army now, he's not really going to be able to reinforce it that well or that quick. Bit of a trade-off on both sides here, but I think uh, Freestyle is still going to come out on top. But freestyler behind this, because he's now only on one supply, is not really going to have much of a chance to um, fight this army again. So I think, like I said, that army is going to be the uh, game deciding um, army. I'm not sure if an A10 strike is coming soon as well. Now that command center is um, built. Also, one's, yeah, Pathfinder's an A10s. There you go. There's the A10. He's always obviously killed way too much. And this allowed him to get to A10 level 2. I should kill all the workers and kill the um, supply down to the hole. It's going to take ages to rebuild. So Peter's really now on zero supplies. Does have this oil though. The other one was killed. He does have the repair as well. Those are picked off. There are buggies now out as well. But this um, oil here and the, the repair building should be going down. But like I said, Peter's not on very much money at all. If anything, he's on 2,000. I think he's just got himself the bounty upgrade. That's why he placed the command center and then canceled it. Throwaway account said, what are your thoughts on the faction's defensive buildings? Uh, what alignment placement do you find most effective? Uh, what are my thoughts? Um, Patriot Missile I think is pretty useless unless you are Super Weapon General. Firebase I think is one of the best defenses in the game just for a thousand. It can pretty much hold its own versus a load of stuff. Um, tunnels obviously very good. Stingers not amazing unless you're against Comanches. Um, bunkers I think are very very good. If you ever speak to a player called Rage He's very fond of bunkers because you can build a bunker for $400, it builds super, super quick, put an RPG inside of it and suddenly it becomes like very, very strong against tanks and uh, an enemy player will be very reluctant to fight into it. Uh, about placement of defences and stuff, um, I like to s I don't, don't like to see too many tunnels concentrated in one place. Kind of like Peter has done here. He's um, spread them nice and uh, uh, nice and well, but you don't really want to see like two or three tunnels in like the same kind of area. What about fire bases? I like that spot for um, fire bases. You like build a fire base there and a fire base there where my mouse cursor just was, and um, it's really really um, hard to break through for GLA. Yeah, don't really want to be building more than like three fire bases USA versus GLA units win games. <clears throat> Okay, so Freestyler is 3-2 uh, up. Um, yo, Christian, thank you, man. No worries. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Laser Patriot, pretty good. 
yeah, to build one laser patriot nice and early because you can you can have one power, uh, two supplies, one barracks, one war factory, and still afford uh, power wise to have one laser turret. Um, so yeah, building one laser turret, especially like on tournament desert where you just build it on like the uh, one of the flanks and block um, any enemy things coming in. Um, yeah, laser patriot pretty good as well. Actually, if you build them in, in mass, they're one of the well, the best defense in the game. That's why they're massively produced in uh, auto defense games. Um, so again, we've got the reverse. Uh, we are on hard winter. This map is um, freestyler with GLA green uh, this time. I've got pizza with the um, yeah USA laser in the purple, my favorite color. Peter going for a quick dozer drop. Uh, freestyler trying to build um, a tunnel here to try and get inside of that same bunker that Peter did. Uh, is Freestyler going to react though? Freestyler is going to react, whereas Peter didn't react. And that might be the difference between winning and losing the game again. Because if this tunnel does get up and get inside of that bunker, then it becomes very, very hard to break through. Dozer is going for the crush though, and he's not going to get it. The worker does go away into a different building. Uh, and lucky for Peter, his drone has been spotted and killed by the RPGs. I never tunnel here from uh, Freestyler. So Freestyler's got a fairly good map control so far it looks like that tunnel will get up i think there is a v coming really really quick across the map he might actually stop that worker just in time it is going to be close stops on three percent needs to be careful though if it detonates the ground now that's dead no detonation from a freestyler there was even a little bit of lag there which gave him a little bit of a chance He's going to try and take out the power plant. One terrorist and a few shots from the RPGs, and that will be going down for fairly easy. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to lose two missile defenders there, but actually it's not that bad of a loss just to lose one. But the power needs to be re re rebuilt straight away. I would build it nice and quick inside of there. It's got 1,400, so he can afford it. I don't know what the holdup is. It's actually forced the dozer outside of the, um, the little box in there. Uh, the Chinook actually going for a com um, combat drop, but actually the Chinook is going to take a lot of damage and actually probably even go down. It's a little bit of a mistake there from Peter. Didn't want to go for that so soon. The tower is on fire and burning. Uh, yeah, Peter is taking more damage straight away here. Losing the power plant. Uh, lost one missile defender. Uh, lost the Chinook there as well. This is the kind of damage you want to be causing and Freestyler is causing it. Peter's now under a bit of pressure. Not rebuilt his um, second Chinook on his main base so far. There it is now. Uh, almost losing the V there. Needs to be careful. Peter doesn't really want to be losing any Vs. He's already taken quite a bit of damage. Doesn't really want to be losing anything else. Needs to have some decent engagements now if he's going to win. Um, a tunnel going up there on the right hand side. Um, Peter building a um, fire base to defend it. I can imagine there's going to be some quads mixed in now, and he's going to be going for the um, air attack on the uh, Chinooks. One V going down there, maybe a second, but um, killing a load of tentacles there. There is a. <laughs> I don't know if that was a, f a fifth terrorist has killed it, but he's going to actually hit the supply. You notice the amount of damage that Freestyle is causing to Peter nice and early on. That's exactly what you want to be doing. Um, Freestyler is losing these few tunnels, but there is another tunnel behind it. He's also got these tunnels over here as well. He's killed that dozer, killed that supply. The V count actually isn't all that high. Another one going to be going down here. This is the damage you want to be causing, and Freestyler is causing it. <clears throat> Throwaway account again says our players of the doing the old meta of five or six workers, two dozers before selling the command center. What are your insights on when the meta should be changed? What meta do you wish people would stop? Uh, I think five or six workers is normal. I don't think that's ever going to stop. I do like to see six workers though, because I think six workers does collect slightly faster. Um, even seven workers when you've got a load of money. I'd like to see people stop um, being on two and three workers. I think it's really a common, easy mistake to fix. And um, two dozers is generally uh, the best. Oh, those are going to go down here. 
That's his last dozer. Peter's probably going to type something. Here we go. <laughs> Didn't need that second barracks, though. And that was all because of the power plant that got down. It got taken down in the beginning. These tunnels are going to get cleared up. Peter can still win, though. But yeah, two doses is generally a standard thing. 90% of the time, that's what you're going to be seeing. But three doses does work sometimes, especially for like tank versus China. If you're going to be in a nice, aggressive first war factory, a tank can sometimes do three doses. Three doses for China is, um, is doable and is uh, feasible. <clears throat> so yeah, people that always make two doses, maybe they should experiment more in doing three doses. That's my thoughts on it. But I think the meta is probably never going to change. We're talking, the game's been out since 2003. We're in 2019 now. I think if it was going to change, it probably would have changed by now. This um, massive blob of these, though, if you can get the missile upgrade now, uh, the tow missile upgrade, then this will be a lot harder to... Whoa, this could be a terror tech, though. And if it is, there's going to be some Vs going down, but not a quick reaction from Freestyler. That technical does go down with all the terrorists. That that, that does show Peter, though, that uh, Freestyler is getting a little bit desperate. He doesn't have that much of a defense ready for these Vs, which could still win the game. I would like to see the missile upgrade, though, the, the tow missile upgrade, because they will be a lot harder to beat with the technicals. Freestyler, sorry, Peter can still, of course, long distance collect. So even though he's on one supply, he has a load of Chinooks. Yeah, I think Freestyler's lost. Despite that amazing start, I'm not convinced that he can win this. Especially when he loses this War Factory. The, the Tentacles might try and come in from the back and try and take out a few. But I think Freestyler's um, still lost the game. Which is a shame for him because he did so much better in the early game than um, Peter did in the previous game. We've got oil being captured here from Freestyler. So Freestyler, I mean, with the right engagement, can still win. There's still no tow, v, uh, tow missile upgrade. I always try and say that wrong, don't I? I always try and, try and say tow V missile upgrade. But actually, it's a tow missile upgrade. <laughs> That's one meta that I need to change. I always get it wrong. Uh, one V almost going down, but not quite. Needs to send that one back with the ambulance to get repaired. No point engaging with it now because it's just going to go down so, so quick. Maybe Freestyler should have, when he saw this big blob of Vs coming in, he should have probably gone for the base trade because this last few buildings, once he's killed those, that's it. He, he still could do that, but there is um, more Vs and Miss Alderman is back at home now. Peter needs to be careful, though. He doesn't really want to be losing any Vs. He's lost two now, though. Freestyler also building some base in the middle. One of the tunnels is probably going to get picked off, but he is a, he's still technically on two supplies because he's got this one and, of course, this one. Uh, but, yeah, I still want to see the missile upgrade from, from Peter because they'll be so much harder to, um, to beat with these tentacles. Tentacles now coming in, combined with the RPGs in the tunnel. Might cause some damage. Going to push Peter back for the time being. Freestyler behind this is getting the repair. Uh, building. Freestyler can still pull this back. He's picked off another V. Peter being a little bit careless with his um, Vs at the moment. I think he's uh, under quite a bit of pressure. That V there is the one he wants to be um, sending that one first really because it's Vet 3. That's the one that's least likely to go down. It's got the most HP, the most armor, the hardest to kill. Freestyler quite rightly going to try and pick off these Vs while they're coming to reinforce, but he is going to lose two technicals, going to lose probably a third as well. That one just escaping. He's only got two technicals left, and actually, based on those few that he's lost there, that puts him in a position where he can't really engage these Vs anymore. Uh, but yeah, maybe he wants to go for the base trade now, because look, there's nothing to defend this. This is the buildings that he needs to kill. I mean, go for the base trade now rather than trying to engage this now, only with the few technicals that he's got and the few RPGs. He's going for the other oil, so he's going to have a bit of economy left. <laughs> These uh, missile defenders are trying to go inside one of the Vs. But they are all going down to the uh, tunnels. That's quite a lot of missile defenders, and there's still no uh, missile upgrade. But now going for the base trade, and this is going to force Peter to come back, actually. Because uh, these are Peter's last buildings, as I said. He's going to have to come back. He's got no choice other than to come back and defend this now. 
Uh, barracks there in the back. This is going to be a pretty close game. I don't think that supply is going to go down. I think uh, Peter's going to defend this in time. But these Vs need to be careful because load of RPGs here. But remember, every V that he loses now, he can't cannot rebuild. So that ambulance now, he can't repair any of these Vs apart from the one that's going to heal itself. Oh, this is looking awfully painful for Peter. Very, very painful. Really, really bad micro. I think he's lost pretty much every single V. He's lost every single V, except one. Uh, to put it simply, I don't think he can win now. Three stars on 5k. Just, even if he just dropped down 50 tunnels, there's uh, no way Peter can win now. Not with one V, it's not enough. <laughs> Peter calls him pathetic. Uh, he means, he's referring to the dozer hunt and the, uh, the war factory. No one went down. But really, Freestyle played just really, really well here with the um, with the aggression in the beginning and the damage that he caused. It was a much better uh, job than uh, what Peter did. Uh, this 1v is having some success. Terrorist going to go down. Rebel going to go down. Uh, the benefit of building a fake barracks as GLA in the early game is that your barracks can be upgraded while your worker is still running around. Um, I've got a video on it. If you type into YouTube, fake barracks versus real barracks, I've got a video explaining exactly why. In just a two or three minute short video, you can see why. But it's basically to free up the worker so while the barracks is upgraded, you can be running around to get in a better position. You can get a faster tunnel in the middle of tournament desert, for example. <laughs> B is calling him pathetic again. But Rebel Ambush now is going to take out their missile defenders, but don't tell me Peter's going to be able to win with this one heroic V. Looking like he might be able to, but this I think this is a terror attack. Yeah, it's GG. That's going to force fire there, and it's GG. Well played, Freestyle. Well done. <clears throat> um, MTAs. Yeah, we can see your chat, by the way. Uh, score four, two, four, Freestyle. Freestyle it on the knees to win one more. Imitaz says who's winning. You can see the score at the top middle of the screen. Freestyle needs another minute. He seems to need a minute every uh, <laughs> between every game. Yo, Roll, thank you, man.
Yeah, one more game, as Exile quite rightly said. One more game, and um, Freestyler could be the winner. Only needs one more to win. It's uh, first of five. Yo, uh, Lord Amadeus. Thanks, man. Good to see you too. <clears throat> Still waiting for freestyle. Uh, someone said, what map sets, what map sets, oh, sorry, what map sets offer the most unbalanced play for competitors regardless of factions? I think most maps nowadays, to be honest, are pretty balanced. There's a few maps with um, a few slight imbalances, but usually if a map's imbalanced, the players will um complain or make it make it known in this case we're doing random not not random reverse they're doing um an army matchup and then they're doing the reverse of it so even if there was an imbalanced matchup um they re reverse the spots and play exactly the same the next time so even if there is an imbalanced map it always balances out in the end with uh when you do the reverse armies so but in, re in regards to um imbalanced maps i don't think there are actually a huge load of them usually depends on um, uh, factions like for example when you get an air force that's um, in, a, in a map where it's hard to harass um, as GLA or as China then generally they're the um, they're, 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 that's one example of a of a, an imbalanced hard matchup Okay, the most balanced maps. Uh, um, I think. Uh, I think tournament tournament desert is pretty, pretty. I think to be honest, probably the people play the most balanced maps. Um, tournament desert, lagoon, um, homeland rocks, gorge drought. They're all kind of uh, balanced maps. Plant waste, another good one. Generally, even if you're like China versus um, Air Force, plant waste is one way you can sometimes get um, gats by the supplies. You'll see the supplies at the extremes of the map. You can generally get gats there. So plant waste, another another, another balanced one. But yeah, there's plenty of balanced maps. But of course, with everything, there's always going to be some imbalances. Like this one here, Stealth versus Tank, I actually think that's fairly balanced. I don't think it's massively imbalanced um, in someone's favour or anything like that. I think it's just pretty balanced. Peter doesn't seem happy. He's complaining now that Freestyle has played 293 ladder games this month. Nothing wrong with that, though. I mean, Peter could have played 293 games as well. It's just that Freestyle is putting in more, more time and effort, so... Yeah, you're right. Not everyone has 20 minutes to spare between the games. To be fair, I think he was only a few minutes then. I think that time there at the top right. Actually, it said six minutes. So yeah, he had six minutes between those games. 
Okay, so potentially the last game if Freestyler wins this one. Freestyler in the green on the top right of Plant Waste. In the bottom left, we've got Peter with GLA Stealth in the purple. I think this is winnable for either faction. So if Peter puts in a good performance, there's no reason why he can't bring this back to 4-2. It's definitely not like massively in favor of Tank or massively in favor of Stealth. Um, I think if I was playing this right now, I probably would prefer to play Tank. I'm leaning towards. Um... Because, yeah, as long as you can kind of hold on to the sides, even if you just charge straight through the middle, it's, uh, stuff's going to have a hard time dealing with all the flamers, the gats, the battle masters and stuff like that. So, yeah. But, uh, again, I think it's a fairly balanced matchup. You've got hijackers for stealth that are good for taking over um, tanks. Tanks units, any flamers and stuff like that. Once a hijacker gets inside of those, they can cause massive devastation, especially if you're um, in close proximity to your tank space. There is a um, truck being sent forward here. It's going to try and crush this worker. Um, if Peter behind this has actually gone three supplies. So actually this truck here could cause massive, uh, massive damage because there is no tunnel here to defend this. There is not even a arms dealer. So potentially this is going to go very, very bad. It needs to send a terrorist um, over there, but there's no terrorist in sight. The terrorist is instead going to the middle and all of these workers here are going to go down and this is a massive success straight away for freestyler if he just sends a gat now from here all the way down here that's going to be really hard for freestyler to um sorry for peter to uh, establish a defense there but terrorist is going to come and push this away um late arms dealer being built tunnel established there on the top left Um, game a little bit slow but where it's going to get difficult for Peter is when Tank gets a big blob of um, units here but like even these flamers alone for example with the um, with the Gat and the Outpost is going to be difficult to do anything against for example a Hijack is not going to be doing anything against that even if you had like four quads there it's not going to really be doing anything against this unless he keeps flaming his, uh, his own army which he, uh, he is doing at the moment but yeah, this is um, and once he gets a few battle masters in there as well with a few more few more gats. Once he gets like a, a decent sized army, this is where it's difficult for stealth, and that's why I don't necessarily like playing stealth versus tank on this map. I would I would prefer the tank. Um, yeah, you see, like Peter has not got, really got an answer for this. This is only the first wave of uh, units. Uh, Peter doesn't have an answer straight away. There is a technical now going in and might kill the barracks there. It's going to kill the war factory as well. Uh, going to kill the dozer and the war factory. There is another dozer and he's straight away building a command center. But he's going to be on one war factory for a little bit. But the problem is he's not going to be able to deal with this. Because even the RPGs... Okay, he's going to pick off one gat. Okay, two gats. Doing pretty well so far. But his flamer might kill a load of RPGs. Uh, a quad taken out there as well. Tunnel established on the bottom right. What I'd like to see from Peter is since he's got a tunnel there, I'd like to see him get one of these supplies. Even just tuck a supply in the back and get a stealth supply. That's how he's going to be getting enough money to kind of hold on against this um, aggression from Freestyler. Throwaway account said, uh, what's the most enjoyable aspect of Zero Hour? I think it's just the, the general gameplay and the units and the way the units interact and um, counter each other is one of the most amazing things. The unit movement and stuff, how it looks... Okay, it doesn't look 100% realistic, but you compare it to other RTS games and the unit movement and the kind of the animations and the actions and the... Um, yeah, the general fight in between units and the micro and stuff like that. Uh, N0, in my opinion, is one of the... one of the better RTS games. That's one of the most enjoyable things. And what is it that keeps pulling me to the game? Um, it's probably exactly that. I, I, I love RTS, I love playing it, and it's, it's one of my favorite RTS games. It's as simple as that. <clears throat> 
yeah like you see you've seen a few rts games recently and um or any any new ones i can't remember what that one was i made a video about uh but either way you looked at some of that the unit movement and stuff and it just looks um like w way worse than than zero the 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 game engine and like the the way the units move and all that kind of stuff the like flame wall it all just looks and feels just feels good but you see some other rts games and it's just not quite the same that's what i think everyone lives about um zero Um, so somehow Peter is managing to hold on with only uh, quads so far. He is going to be on battle buses very soon. Now establish a supply in the bottom right. He also has control of the top left as well. So um, freestyle actually not looking so strong right now. <laughs> Peter once again very animated. I don't think freestyler is nervous somehow because he's got um, a two-game buffer. He could lose the next two games and it doesn't actually necessarily... I uh, mean that much he's not going to be going out but he only needs to win one yeah maybe Peter is trying the mind games not sure it's working on freestyle though <clears throat> not sure uh, freestyler is bothered by the uh, few comments that Peter makes But yeah, Peter's looking pretty strong now. Um, I think Freestyler's mistake was not going for either of the corners. And now he's allowed Peter to get both corners. And Peter's now on a load of cash. And that's going to be difficult uh, for Freestyler. He's also got mix behind this as well. Not quite sure about that. I mean, if he was massively ahead and there was there was battle buses, then yeah, sure. But he's not massively ahead. Um... <laughs> Peter is just full of it today. And maybe this is Freestyler's way back into the game if he uh, takes over this left-hand side. There are um, a load of MIGs out here, so if the quads do pop and the MIGs strike, but... I mean, two MIGs going down there, three MIGs, that's a massive, massive loss. So there's 1,600 each. Uh, the battle buses, there's only really um, Gatlin tanks here to defend this, and the battle bus is going to have a field day. I don't think Freestyler can win this one. I think Peter has won it, but it did look a bit shaky from Peter in the beginning. I think Freestyler had a good start, but he didn't really capitalize on it that well. Yeah, like someone said, uh, Steph said in the chat, it didn't go to the side, so maybe that's... Uh, the reason he's lost here. I mean, even these three battle buses now, they're going to be so hard to take out for Freestyler. Uh, I don't think he can win. The MIGs are all pretty much dead. He only had three anyway. Typically, you want to be making four. Um, increase the firestorm and more we'll kill. I think it does it kill a bus or it actually takes it really really low down to the hole Um, that Lewis is a little bit too close for the tunnels. <clears throat> There's so many battle buses here, but one MIG is not enough. That MIG is going to go down. Freestyler is uh, getting really, really shut down here. Maybe the, maybe the um, unsportive, as someone said, the unsportive uh, chat is getting to Freestyler. But uh, yeah, Freestyler is not looking good at all. Even these battle buses now, they can just charge into the base, and I'm pretty sure that's GG. Um, Peter is really just delaying.
freestyle with a bit of aggression here. I don't think it's going to do much uh, to the re end result of the game, though. Um, there are th a load of battle buses, and actually he's taking over a dozer as well. Has he got power? I'm not sure if he's got power or not, but he has got a dozer. GG for a freestyle, and it is game over. So uh, Peter may be pulling it back. There's no reason why he can't win the tank game as well. Definitely not impossible. Let's be about, bring it back two seconds, guys. <clears throat> Okay, so I need to update the scoreboard actually. See, so yeah, we've got four free. <laughs> Peter continuing his uh, his chat. Should be two seconds. Okay, so black on. Um, uh, plant waste we've got in the bottom left we've got freestyler with the uh, GLA stealth and in the top right we've got um, Peter um, Spessus Beck I, I think I'm saying that right still is um, in the China tank in the um, purple color in the top right a slightly different build order building them um, two supplies in a slightly different place freestylers of course was there before might still be going forward with truck crush though or maybe not so no truck crush down here. Freestyler is doing a slightly different build order as well, building a tunnel way back here. He's actually going for his um, war factory as well, rather than the third supply. Chris Hack said, when am I going to come back to zero? Probably this weekend. I'm probably going to start playing again. Nine E C and C three knows my uh, catchphrase. <laughs> Yo guys, welcome back to some zero. <laughs> Uh, flamer, or oh, two flamers from uh, Peter. Um, freestyler with a tunnel there in the middle. He's also got that garrison there. We can tell by it's a green dot on the map. Freestyler sending a worker right around the back over there. We've got a tentacle coming straight down the center. Didn't quite see what that was. Don't know if it's terrorist. I imagine it is though, and he's going to go straight for the war factory, but the mines are going to kill it. That's a massive, massive win there for Peter. A um, really, really decent start, really, that you want to be having because now he's got this war factory um, and he hasn't got the third supply that Peter had. He has got um, a hijacker there, which actually may come in handy. But like I said, the quads versus um, tank units are not very good at all.
this um, hijack here is coming in. I'm not sure if he's going to go for the dozer. I think he is going to go for the dozer, but I think Peter will see it. There is a technical there. It's going to kill the kill the barracks. This is going to go gone from really a really decent start from Peter, but actually not looking so good now. His um, trucks there are going down. That truck now is also going to. Ah, uh, no, the mines. <laughs> this is a bit all over the place from both players. Um, which technical is going to get the kill on that truck? Is any of them? Actually, Peter has actually done really well to clear that up. It was looking very bad for him for a second, so Peter does manage to clear that up. Oh, and Peter's killed a supply for there from Freestyler as well. Freestyler has established a never supply, so he's still on two, but he's had to rebuild it, which has cost him some money. That flamer is still proving uh, very, very difficult, but this is not looking good for Freestyler. RPGs there going down, but these tentacles alone now are not going to be able to do anything against that army. Uh, Peter is now on three supplies, fully established. Not collecting with his trucks there. Massive, massive mistake. Not realized. He's still technically on two supplies, but I don't think it matters. Once that war factory goes down, I'm pretty sure it's going to be GG from Freestyler. Peter is pulling this back, and he's going to go to 4-4. Four, four. It's going to go to a deciding game. Peter again with the, with the mind games and trying to... Um, carry out some psychological warfare on Freestyler. Maybe that is working and get into Freestyler. I uh, didn't think it would, but maybe it is. It's not looking good. But you see why I prefer... Why I prefer tank. Generally, this is the kind of situation that um, it leaves you in. Because, I mean, you just don't have an answer for these few units. But Peter somehow managed to pull it off in the first game. Still not collecting with his trucks there at the back, though. Uh, Freestyler is now on two supplies, but he has no units, so this is GG. 100% GG. I can't see any way Freestyler's going to win this. A barracks is being um, built there. Uh, but it's only a matter of time before uh, Peter spots these. But yeah, Peter's still not collecting on his um, trucks there at the back. Really, really big mistake. Yeah, the two supplies still alive. Um, there is a hijacker out now, maybe taking over one of these flamers, but still doesn't matter because a flamer can't kill flamers. So, just a matter of time now before he um, he quits out. GG. Yeah, well played. Peter is bringing this back. Uh, the score now for four. Next game wins. <clears throat> A 
let's see they um, what they choose the final matchup uh, I imagine they're going to choose a mirror but let's see maybe a tank mirror usually is the uh, answer Peter's asking for Forgotten Forest um, 9EC uh, sorry, sorry CN3 says um, who are the biggest flamers in the community um, uh, uh, what's his name two guys one guy called Learn China one guy called Learn USA, which does have a few other names as well. I think his real name is Nick, the uh, Learn USA guy. Um, Fargo, maybe not the most horrendous of flaming, but he does complain and um, flame a bit, but nothing compared to uh, Learn China and Learn USA. <clears throat> Freestyle wants a GLA mirror. Peter wants an air mirror. <clears throat> Let's see what they agree on. Okay, GLA Mirror, it looks like um, Freestyler has um, persuaded Peter to go for a GLA Mirror. Let's see if that uh, works out good for him or not. <laughs> Peter's still with his um, animated chat. So we're down to 4-4. What um, a pretty decent epic series to come back to. Um, Freestyler in the bottom left with the uh, GLA Vanilla in the green. We're on uh, Forgotten Air Battle, which is actually Forgotten Forest. Uh, we're top right. We've got Peter with the purple uh, GLA Vanilla as well. So yeah, Julie Murray, let's see uh, what is going to happen. I'm going to imagine that Freestyler is going to be aggressive following his typical uh, typical style. So workers running around, we've got a war factory going up quicker for Freestyler. A little bit slower there for Peter, but it's because of the placement of the workers when they first start off, that's the reason. Peter with a quicker worker to the oils. That one is going to get up before um, freestylers, but he's going to deploy a demo trap. Don't think Peter's going to, oh, Peter is going to move it. Freestyler has built the demo trap, but I think um, that's, not, that's not going to do enough damage. It might, it might cause a little bit of damage to the, to the tunnel. There is a terror tech coming in and it's going to hit the supply. It's going to kill it as well and the tunnel. So a really nice hit there from um, Freestyler. Peter does scrap up his technical though and now has to cause some damage of his own. Oh, a load of units going down there for um, 
freestyle at that time. Peter with some nice defense. So I think actually Peter's not in a bad position, although he did lose that supply. It has now been rebuilt. It's not um, all too bad of a situation. Got another technical coming in here now, killing some of uh, Peter's workers. That's three workers down so far. All of the workers going down. Peter is uh, busy distracted over here. He does have a nice load of tentacles out now. Scrap deny there from uh, Freestyler, but all his workers in his main base have been killed. Got another tunnel going up defensively for um, Freestyler. More and more workers going down. Never tunnel going down there for Peter, um, but I think his main concern he needs to protect his workers, um, not build a never tunnel over there. But um, I'm not sure where his other rebel is for getting the oil. One of the technicals for Freestyle are going to be chased away. Um, Peter now going for an oil of his own. Freestyle are also going for an oil. He's bringing another rebel over there to try and capture that. He is probably going to get... Oh, and he's not got the capture upgrade, though. That's the thing. And he's not got many workers collecting. Hmm. I, I prefer um, Freestyle's position. He's also getting a second arms dealer. He's also killed more workers and harassed more. He's also got a capture upgrade, whereas Peter's got the oils um, secured, but he doesn't actually have the capture upgrade to get them. And Freestyler now should be aware that he's going to go for the oils as well. Freestyler going to attack with another technical. Not sure what's inside of it. <clears throat> Um, Peter really needs that capture upgrade. Um, but once he gets that, then he might be an advantage. But until then, Freestyle is looking like he's controlling the pace of the game. There's more purple on the map, though. Fre Peter's really defending this oil, but he's not got the capture upgrade. It's really, really strange. Um, RPG's just going forward. Going to try and get in some of these buildings. There is a sneaky worker there that Peter's going to want to deal with. He has spotted it with the RPG. Peter is going to pick that off. But Freestyler behind this, I think he's going to have a chunky army. He has killed the oil there as well with the Terra Tech. But still, I oh know, his capture upgrade now in place. And he is going to capture the oil. Once he gets that oil, it's not a bad situation for Peter, but until that oil is captured. Uh, it's not the greatest. Freestyler, of course, is going to have the better, bigger army because he's on two arms dealers quicker. Um, if Peter loses this, then he's probably going to lose this supply. He needs to, um, he needs to defend this. He needs to def defend this supply. But it's because Freestyler has controlled the whole game. Freestyler is now going to be able to push in. Not enough tunnels um, quick enough. These um, tentacles are going to try and cause a little bit of damage, but they just can't hang around long enough. To cause any damage at all, they're straight away going to be forced back. There is a few quads out for saying that for Peter, but there's scorpions here. It's going to try and hold this on, but I think Freestyle is going to come out on top. Freestyle, sorry, Peter might actually have a super tech there, and he might be able to use that to hold on. And if he does hold on, combined with the oil, he's now on two arms dealers as well. So if, if that is a super tech, he's actually not looking so bad for Peter because he's got the. Um, like I said, he has got the oil. But where's the super tech? The super tech needs to be clearing this up. Doesn't really want to be losing these workers, but he doesn't want to lose the super tech either. 
Um, that quad there is the, the hard thing to kill because it's hard to engage with this super tech. Peter just needs to re-secure this area and hold on against the next attack and then it will be looking good for him. Um, Palace is going out for freestyler, so he's going to be taking um, a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of the gas off this attack but another load of scorpions are coming in and that technical potentially going down that quad going down at least um it just needs more and more tunnels with the rpgs to clear out these um why is he not attacking with the rpgs it needs to be weakening these uh, these um scorpions as much as possible going to take out uh the, the rpgs eventually the uh, super tech causing a little bit of damage Needs to be careful though from the rocket for the rocket scorpions. Super tech needs to be doing as much damage as possible. There's just not enough of an army out here for Peter. And gotta remember, Freestyle is getting all the XP from all of these kills. Super tech has picked off one scorpion, it looks like. Or one scorpion going at least very low. But it's the RPGs need to be thinning this out. The RPGs are the key to winning this victory. There is a terrorist out now as well. See the RPGs causing so much damage. This terrorist going to cause some damage as well. Peter throughout this whole series actually has caused a lot of damage with terrorists. Remember earlier on when he played against Inf, he was popping open the um, uh, the outposts really well with um, the terror with the terrorist. Yeah, it was really really it worked out really well for him. Works out good for him there as well. There's two scorpions here. Very, very low. Needs to be sending them back. Uh, freestyle at this. Yo, the beast. Zero hour, by the way. Welcome. Yeah, you see them scorpions just go down so, so quick. Freestyle are now actually sending these. This is a mistake. He's actually selected all of his quads by mistake. They're going across the map now. Not enough um, scorpions here for uh, uh, Peter. Needs to be kind of regrouping, getting a getting a bigger army and then go into attack but saying that peter is still an economic advantage you still got this oil and uh, this supply there's still loads of workers here needs to drop down uh, tunnels asap i'll be dropping down a tunnel there so so fast and another one actually i'm dropping down two tunnels because once he stabilizes he's actually in a decent economic position but there is a palace up now as well so jarman uh buses it looks like it's going to be <laughs> Peter just relentless with the uh, with the psychological warfare. Yeah, you're right. Someone said, "Why is free making? Um, why is freestyle making scores?" Actually, it's buggies. There's buggies coming out. But uh, Peter doesn't have a palace though, so we can't really counter this um, that well. But the terrain on this map is not the best for buggies. But when there is a number of them out... Uh, yeah, it might still be hard to deal with. So let's Peter, see what Peter's answer to this is. He's dropping down a palace, so already 10% of the way. And we've got a Jarman out. Don't know if he's going to go for a Terra Tech or not. I think it would be a bad idea to go for a Terra Tech because there's so many tunnels there. But of course, we can see the whole map, and Freestyle cannot. An attack from uh, Peter here, and not the greatest of attacks, it looks like, so you don't really, really want to be attacking into that bunker, never mind with the buggies as well. But there is a uh, sneaky worker here from Freestyler pushing forward. Peter also does have the refinery. Looking pretty good for him, actually. A ref um... <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, Freestyler actually with the first black market. Palace almost completed now for Peter. Um... There is a tunnel back here though, and uh, Freestyler looking um, a little bit vulnerable here. I would be taking out that black market, not targeting the worker because that's pointless. But the um, the super tech is going to carry out uh, the attack on the black market while the two armies face off. I think uh, Freestyler is going to come out on top, but that black market, I don't understand why. 
I don't know, that would have been my first target. I don't know why the, the black market wasn't the first target. But, I don't know, he did, he did kill some of the army, but a load of his army did go down for really not that much. Black market going down now for Peter. Uh, this uh, tunnel here is going to be denied. I think it is going to get up, but then it's going to be denied straight away. The uh, bounty upgrade is ready now for Peter as well. So game has slowed down a little bit as a demo trap there for Peter. But remember, he's got the refinery and the oil. So the longer this game goes, the more in favor of Peter it goes. Uh, Freestyle's building his second and third black market. But he doesn't really have that much map control. This is his kind of stronghold, but he's only got one tunnel there. I feel like Peter could be creeping forward and doing like a tunnel here. I'm trying to eventually take out that um, that tunnel because this bunker here and this bunker cannot provide any defense against the um, an attack from the north. So, Peter trying to take out that bunker there from range. Uh, he's dropping down another black market. His first black market is ready. And there are buggies for freestyler are upgraded. I think I saw a Jarman somewhere as well. Or am I imagining that? Oh, never TNT, but um, I think I missed the first one. TNT did try and go in and kill the oil, um, but Peter's really good defense on his um, his his oil with his four tunnels has uh, proved really, really, uh, really, really well for him. I didn't see there was a first terror attack, but obviously he's gone for a second one, and both have been unsuccessful. So a massive waste when you think a full terror attack costs one thousand five hundred. That's three thousand just based on two failed terror attacks. If if we did miss the first one, which I think we did. Plenty of uh, buggies out now for Peter and uh, Skid Storm. But if that Skid Storm just hits here, killing the Palace and the two um, Black Markets, I don't think Freestyler can win this one. Just look at the purple on the map, how well spread it is. As someone said, it's an uh, amazing spread across the map. Plenty of presence. Uh, Freestyler trying to claim some of it back, but that bunker there that is going to go down. Maybe the psychological warfare from <laughs> from Peter has worked. Because Freestyler is not looking the strongest. See what I mean about this terrain though, the buggies, um, when they're shooting up and down terrain, uh, the buggies don't really work that well. They um, always go too close to the uh, whatever you're trying to attack. Uh, Peter now has an aggressive tunnel here, could kill one of the markets. I'd prefer to see the kill the market rather than target something else, so... Oh, that was close. Freestyler did cancel it just in time. He's going to try and defend this, but uh, I think Peter might have too much now. Uh, it's that refinery in the... the the um the oil that has changed this but yeah freestyler is facing um adversity here one of his markets is going down as well in three minutes there's going to be a scud um firing on his base as well so um freestyler is really up against it uh, buggies for peter going a little bit close there but a bad pop from freestyler as well means one of his buggies going to go down the buggies from a freestyler uh, popping out of a further back tunnel taking out one of the scorps but the scorps are pushing forward freestyler's base is massively under pressure 
losing a few more tunnels. Freestyle had taken out some of um, Peter's um, units from a distance with the buggies. He's thinning Peter's army out. But remember that Scud's going to launch now in 2 minutes 40. There is an angry mob out for uh, Freestyle and now going to try and help with the defense here. That'll actually work well against the uh, Scorpions. I don't think there's any quads out and I don't think there's any um, uh, Jarman out for him either. Freestyle's main supply is almost mined out. His secondary supply is already mined out. He has got 6k in the bank though. Peter on 1.6k. Loads of buggies out now for Peter and he's taking out Freestyle's army from a distance. The barracks now going down. He's got the bounty upgrade as well. Uh, <laughs> Peter calls freestyle a pathetic. I think maybe the psychological warfare did work. I didn't know freestyler had that kind of uh, um, frustrate, frustrated uh, mentality and um, was susceptible to. Uh, to the mind games, so it appears he uh, he was, and Peter is <laughs> looking like he's on fire. It was actually a decent start from Freestyle because he killed that supply early on, but now it's looking like this is definitely Peter's game. He's going to pull it back, I think, to 5 4 when he was actually down 4 2 at one point. So, um, yeah, the main base of Freestyle is now pretty much uh, broken into. There's a few units escaping for Freestyler. Only one Scorp and a, and, a, and a buggy though. Freestyler's making some quads now, but this is not the right units to be making against this amount of buggies. Uh, this is looking very, very bad. I can't see any way Freestyler can win. I think this is over. Peter managing to pull it back is very, very impressive. Freestyler says GG's noob and um, GG's well played from Peter. Well played you to Peter. Pulled it back from 4-2 um, in the face of uh, defeat. I don't know if Freestyler maybe took his foot off the gas or maybe he was feeling the nerves towards the end. I didn't think it seemed as good as I've seen Freestyler play like um, a month or two ago. Um, but yeah, well played to Peter. I think he's now going to be the champion of the uh, pro round robin Peter on fire yo AD general that's a second donation tonight thank you very much man much much appreciated and yeah you're right Peter on fire it looks like the voice thing isn't working actually it should normally say Peter is on fire but um uh, yeah, that pretty much, um, pretty much wraps it up for tonight. Yeah, well played to Peter, pulling it back from um, four two. I could have sworn that Freestyler would have been able to win one of those games. It was fair matchups as well, and Freestyler actually chose the um, the GLA game. So well played, five four to uh, Peter. I think this is a good time to announce. Actually, there's going to be another live stream on Saturday. Um, I won't be playing, but it will be Fargo against Size. Let me check the time that's going to be. Uh, let me check, let me check, let me check. So Saturday, it's going to be best of 13. There's going to be a $65 prize for the winner, Fargo versus Size, and it will be 1900 GMT, so that's 8 um, p.m. UK time. Uh, check your time zone, but yeah, 1900 GMT on... Um, uh saturday so yeah be there for for that stream i'll set up the live stream and stuff so you get a reminder and whatever and i'll post reminders throughout the um throughout friday and saturday daytime but yeah cheers for tuning in guys um yeah make sure you're there for the stream on saturday and hopefully i'll be playing again this weekend as well so my videos will uh will resume so uh, ggs and peace out